Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guy from Tech Store and in this video I'm going to be showing you the procedure to completely rip apart the base of the Lenovo Legion Y540. Now if you have been using this laptop for a while now and you are feeling that the heating is too high and the thermals are giving away and when you are playing a game you know a lot of FPS losses there then this is the video you should watch. After watching this video you will be able to literally clean up the entire thing. You will be able to literally replace the RAM, hard drive, SSD, put thermal paste, literally do everything that you would want to your Lenovo Legion Y540. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and you will see some screws over here, four screws over here, one over here, two screws, one, two, three, four. So all these screws have to be removed. Remember this screw over here is a longer one and these two screws are shorter ones. So keep them separately. Now it will start protruding the sides of the base, start from this side using a triangular prior like this. Open the laptop. Start prying this particular part over here. And then in the sides, then the cover will come off like this very comfortably. So this is the innards of the Lenovo Legion Y540. This is the battery here. This is the hard drive area. This is the M.2 NVMe SSD area. This is the RAM bay, Wi-Fi chip, the entire heatsink, the two fans. Let's start with the battery first. Five screws have to be removed and uh, the battery can be removed. You just need to pull this thing out and the battery will come out. So if you have a battery to be replaced, uh, your laptop is not giving good backup, then you need to take a similar battery and uh, the battery part code is L17M3PG2. So you just need to take a similar battery like this and uh, replace your laptop's battery. Coming to the part where the NVMe SSD is, so if your laptop has come along with the NVMe SSD, it will be vacant. The slot will basically look like this over here. And uh, you just need to take a NVMe SSD like this. This is a default heatsink that uh, Lenovo gives along with the laptops. And uh, you need to take a PCI Express NVMe M.2 SSD, uh, storage up to one terabyte very comfortably. And uh, you can insert it like this over here and then put the screw back. So this is where the hard drive is. Uh, to remove the hard drive, one, two, three, Four. So totally four screws for the hard drive. The casing will come off. Now you need to remove uh, this particular connector over here and uh, need to remove the strip. So people who don't have a hard drive on your uh, Lenovo Legion Y540, you need to buy this connector over here. This is the connector which needs to be bought and you can uh, use a 2.5 SATA form factor hard drive or SSD. Hard drive you can upgrade up to 2 terabyte and SSD up to 1 terabyte. You just need to remove 1, 2, 3, 4 more screws and you can replace your faulty hard drive. And then again fit back this particular connector like this and put it back. Now coming to the part where the RAM area is, it's held on by this uh, shielding cover. So just need to remove it. Ideally just take a sharp blade like this and one of the corners just put it inside and try to remove it and it will give away. So it has got two memory bay area. You can upgrade uh, up to 32 GB, 16 plus 16 GB. If you want to replace your RAM or put a new RAM then you just need to use your two thumb fingers and the uh, RAM will give away like this. 
you need to buy a 8 GB or a 16 GB or a 4 GB depending on your budget. DDR4 low voltage 266 megahertz memory over here. So this is the RAM that you need to buy. So just take a similar RAM like this and insert the RAM like this and press the notches will take on this particular RAM inside and uh, you can put it back. Now coming the main agenda of this uh, video, we need to clean up these fans. So just need to remove these screws over here. You just need to pull this out very carefully. The sides, you have to just push it out. The fan will be off. Now you need to remove uh, all these screws that you are seeing for the heat sink assembly to come off. So there are numberings uh, given over here. Uh, you can observe from one, you need to start unscrewing from 1, 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, and then 6, 7, pull it out. The entire heat sink will be off and uh, as you can see it is very dirty. You need to clean it up. The thermal paste is almost dry over here. Uh, and that's the reason the laptop gets heated up. So we'll be putting thermal paste over here. Take the brush and uh, clean off all the muck that is there on the motherboard, the scrums of the plastic heat sink that were there on the heat sink, they will all have to come off. As you can see these are stuck and you need to remove them using the brush. Take a paper napkin and uh, you have to clean this entire thing off. Take a tissue paper and remove the thermal paste, residual thermal paste from the heat sink above the processor and above the graphics card. There should not be any residue whatsoever remaining of the earlier thermal paste on the heat sink. Now clear the vents from where the air passes. Give it as much time as possible because the more time you give to this cleaning, the better your laptop will be. Blow it out, blow all the dust that exists between the capillaries. Use the mini hand pump and clear off any dust that exists in the capillaries of the heat sink. Now this is the most important aspect. Remove the fan that uh, sits pretty. These are the two fans, the left and the right one. You can see how dirty they are and they need cleaning. Take the brush, put it on a piece of paper and start cleaning them like this. Use the hand pump, the air pump. Give it as much time as possible for cleaning. You'll see all the dust come off the fans. Ditto with the second fan too. You can see the amount of dust that exists inside. This is a laptop that has been used only for around one and a half years and this is the amount of dust that exists. This is the before and this is the after cleaning photograph. Clean all the residual thermal paste from the processor area. Ensure that the entire place is clean and clear. And then apply the advisably Cooler Master Z3 thermal paste. Then just spread it over completely on the processor and the graphic card. Clean up the covering. Install the fan, the left fan and the right fan. Connect the connectors. Put the screws back. The heat sink now, very carefully. Put all the screws back. Put the hard drive back to its hard drive bay. Fix the screws. Put the hard disk connector back onto the jumper. So this is a CMOS cell over here. So if you want to replace the CMOS cell, just remove this particular notch over here, the connector, pull it out and replace this particular CMOS cell. You just need to remove this 
stickering over here and uh, you can just buy another CMOS cell. It's a CRV2032 cell be held by a gum here. Let's take a similar uh, CMOS cell and uh, you can again put it back here like this and put the connector back. Let's put the battery. Now put the cover from this side, the upper side, and then start pressing it from all the sides. And you're good to go. So this my friends was a video showing you the Lenovo Legion Y540 disassembly. And uh, in this video, we have literally ripped apart the entire base and shown you how to completely clean up the laptop and remove all the mess that is there after gaming for almost one year or so. And uh, this is a must do for any gaming laptop. Uh, this is just a case study that we have shown it to you. And this process can be applied to any laptop uh, that you have, any gaming laptop that you have. Hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. We take a lot of pain to produce these videos and we request you to at least subscribe to us. Thank you so much.